Recently we visited Fort Pierce and showed you some of the fun and interesting things to do here. We thought you might want another look, so today we're going to show you some of the more fun sites in Fort Pierce, including the St. Lucie County Historical Museum, the Marine Center, and the UDT Navy SEAL Museum. Hope you'll come along and join us and enjoy yourself. Our first stop is the National Navy UDT SEAL Museum. Plenty of artifacts from World War II out front. The seals actually practiced here in Fort Pierce at Pepper Park. It's just over the dune. The plaque for this says, in memory of our fallen comrades who have sacrificed their lives in the service of their country. We've come inside. There are a lot of artifacts, pictures, weapons, Japanese weapons, and this is the actual sword that was presented by the Japanese to the American forces at their surrender on September 3rd, 1945. Now the artifacts aren't just from the Pacific Theater, but also the Atlantic, including North Africa, Italy, and Sicily. Now this is one of the seals. And what I think is interesting are his shoes. They let him walk on coral. That's very important in the Pacific. These are fascinating displays. Weapons and equipment. This is from Fort Pierce. We plan on coming back from Muster on November 6th. This is some of the equipment used by the SEALs over the years. The swimmer propulsion unit. He's showing me the picture. Imagine how heavy these must have been. In the air and in the sea. During the Vietnam era, the seals were in the men with green faces. Well, that was interesting and inspiring. The seals really are American heroes. While you're in Fort Pierce, maybe you'd like to try the Zori Neal Hurston Dust Tracks Heritage Trail. Zori Neal Hurston did live in Fort Pierce. Many sites in town that are associated with her, including Lincoln Park Academy, where she once taught. Now, this is the House of the Seven Gables and a visitor center. Let's go inside and take a look. In addition to all the travel and tourist information, there's also a restored dining room from the Slay family. And across the hall, a parlor. This is the Manatee Center, right across the way from the Visitor Center. Oh, it's some nice artwork. And these cubbies are the work of an Eagle Scout for his project, Bo and Davina. Bo's my son. This is some pretty fish. All kinds of manatee displays. He's a feisty one. This is the estuary habitat. 